to start. OK, guys, talk about uh, sending email from PHP. Hopefully, I mean, I have that problem. I guess all of you will probably have that problem sooner or later. So hopefully, um, this, I'm not like giving you what you should do. I'm actually, this is me like crying for help because I'm actually not too sure how to do it myself. And I'm just going to show what I've done and, and where I'm at. And hopefully, you guys can chime in to say how you solve your, your email uh, problem or something like that. And don't suggest something else besides email because that would be crazy. As soon as someone says Telegram or WhatsApp or something else besides email, <sighs> you'll lose me. You'll lose me. So um, yeah, email. Um, so the big problem with email is to send transactional emails. Who knows what transactional emails are? Come on, you know. Come on, someone. <laughs> oh, that person over there. Yeah, yeah. almost. I just made it up because there's no camera back there. Password reset and stuff. What? Password reset. Password reset. Uh, yeah. Uh, is marketing emails transactional? Yes. Could be if it's if it's like an online sign up form that you yeah you, you said okay view this page and they have put them in their email then you send them an email with a link to I guess mar it's, it's it's I guess marketing is quite broad isn't it so nowadays I think it, it's fair to say that you need to have transactional emails to like tell people their lost passwords yeah. to to tell people to come back to your site to tell to tell you I mean I use email a lot to tell me when there's a new sign up or someone's done a particular action on the system. Um, I think it's easier than logs for some reason because logs are so boring that I just ignore them. But email is a little bit more high level for me. So um, yeah, I rely on emails to, to do my business. And, and uh, most web applications do use emails, I hope. But the problem is, to send in that nowadays is to send emails so that you know that the person received it. Like if if you send an email to reset a password or or, uh, or give someone a password and it's not being sent, that's kind of a problem. And another problem, especially with PHP, as I've found, is that when you're using the default mail thing, it can be a bit slow. So these are my problems: trying to send it reliably, trying to send it fast. So. Uh, I mean, once upon a time, people just used like a LAMP stack and, and Postfix. And Postfix kind of solves the sending the email fast in the sense that it's queued in Postfix. But then again, running Postfix nowadays is like just a nightmare. I actually still do it. And I hate every day that goes by maintaining that Postfix. Well, I don't really do it every day. It's just like I'm trying not to look at it. I'm trying not to look at the logs. I'm trying not to understand what's going on because it will hurt me. It will hurt my brain. So um, does anyone like run their own mail server who's dumb enough to do that? OK. Well, <laughs> it's actually quite, it's quite it's, when it's working, it's quite nice. But when there's problems with it, it can be a nightmare. And I don't really, like if, you, if you're a company, like I've been running my company since 2007. So I've had a mail server since 2007. Hence, my domain, webconverger.com, is quite reputable. But if you're starting a new company, doing some stupid, sh what is the startups doing nowadays? Something crazy like loyalty programs or getting your money back somehow. Or if you start up a new um, Singaporean company, foobar.sg, and you don't have a reputation, you might find it very difficult to get your emails delivered. And also, um, I was just going to bemoan the LAMP stack and Postfix weren't really simple at all, actually. And the, the new way of doing things with Docker um, is, is a lot better. Yeah, so um, I also was going to bemoan that transactional email, like for example, uh, my, my email host, my, I actually host my email uh, with the uh, Fastmail. I used to use Gmail, but then I got some sense and used something else because putting all your eggs in one basket is kind of crazy. But they, um, I don't know, I think it, this is the case with Gmail, but Gmail, well, Fastmail certainly don't allow transactional email. And Fastmail, um, uh, and, and I don't know what, Fastmail don't allow, but do Gmail allow transactional email? Uh, maybe they don't, maybe they do, who cares? But some, some hosts do, don't or whatever. So, um, so sometimes sending transactional mail through your existing host might be not um, a feasible option. And then also, I wanted to bemoan who uses PHP Mail. It's very limited, actually, and uh, it sucks a bit. 
you can't do attachments. No, well, this this one, <laughs> that thing, mail function. Oh, my internet just died. Okay, who cares? Okay, so I um, so what are the solutions um, uh, to use a third party? Like some guy over there said, customer something. I mean, w everyone uses some third party, don't you? Which third parties do you guys use? Send Pulse. Send Pulse. <laughs> yeah, the, I, most uh, third party services you should pay for, I guess. Otherwise, they're probably. Uh, I mean. The trouble I have with all these third parties is it's quite difficult to compare. There's so many nuances. Like there probably is one that offers it for free, but then they'll put like a like an advertisement in your in your in your email footer, and that would be nuts, wouldn't it? Uh, anyone else use a third party email sender Mailgun. thing? Mailgun. Mailgun, that's a good one. I mean, I've heard of that one. Sendgrid. Sendgrid. and also those those third party ones like I think Sendgrid. Allows they ha they have like more built up APIs, so you can do like feedback loops, uh, or and, and you know have callbacks, and they have a, like a particular use case kind of kind of catered for. But nonetheless, I would I was hoping you guys would just recommend something over another and give me some some inspiration. Uh, but uh, you don't have to say now, I guess. Just just let me know at some point. Because I, I am a, having a diff difficulty comparing them all and, and finding which one I like. So ultimately, I just ended up using AWS SES because everyone else does that, and it's quite cheap. Uh, I did write up a, a guide how to use it on my slides. Uh, you, and my si slides will be available with a video, I guess. But, um, oh. Nonetheless, uh, that's the third party. It's like getting, getting your stuff to uh, the mailer and such things. Uh, that was another problem in itself. Like, maybe I'm not the biggest PHP expert in the world, but I found it a challenge to send email quickly, uh, asynchronously with PHP. These, uh, I, I, I posted a question on Stack Overflow. Here's a tip for you. If you don't know what you're doing, post a question on Stack Overflow. I wouldn't be a programmer today if it was, wasn't for that site. I, I would, if that site went down, I would, I would have to quit being a programmer because Stack Overflow is everything. So I posted the question like, how do you do this asynchronously? Because PHP is slow. If it's doing some synchronous thing that takes a long time, like delivering an email. So which one of these do you think would solve the problems? Anyone got a clue how to make something Asynchronous in PHP? Come on. What, what, what do you think it is? Uh, second last one. Oh, that's cheating. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Who, anyone? Any, anything else? But uh, the problem with exec, though, is that say you have a, compl a complicated email that you want to get from your, your PHP into, into exec that you have to pass in somehow. The argument, I mean, unless I'm mistaken, past getting getting arguments into exec is a huge pain in the butt. So it's got some serious drawbacks. Well, if you, on the Stack Overflow question, people people registered and you're like, oh, you're an idiot. You should be using threads, dude. And threads, you can do it. And I actually spent a whole lot of time implementing this threads thing, and it doesn't work. <laughs> And, and then some people were, had the balls to recommend me Beanstalk. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. D your simple solution is not going to work. You should deploy a million lines of code and this new queuing system, and then you, then you can get it working. Like, no, I'm not deploying a million lines of code, you moron. So, and then other people recommended me PHP and Swift. They also don't solve the problem. And register shutdown function it looked promising. I was like, oh, yeah, this is going to do it. No, it doesn't do it. The one that does that that does work is fast CGI finish request. To my surprise, it works. But I don't know if you're crazy like me, but I like to run PHP scripts from the command line to see if they work and all that sort of stuff. And of course, that function doesn't work from the command line. So that sucks. So I'm actually still not entirely sure how to make something asynchronous in PHP, besides using exec. And come on, exec is super duper duper duper, duper lame. 
There's got to be a better way than this. There's got to be a better way. I guess you could have multiple computers. You know, just like multiple? No. No. We're not doing that. Anyway, so um, basically, I'm really like, I, you know, I'm being a bit of a PHP stalwart. I've been hanging on. All these new languages have come around. You know, Ruby, Golang, Shell, now that Microsoft has got it. And you can do cool things in these languages, but PHP, it's really difficult to do something quite as simple like this. Even the exec, yeah, the exec stuff is a disaster. So what, I, what is my current solution? Oh my god. My current solution, the fastest way I, I've actually managed to do it is to not actually use SMTP. Because when I was measuring um, like sending email through SMTP, it was slow. It was like taking more than three seconds for, per email. The fastest way to do it is actually to use Amazon's uh, curl API, or is it curl? Is it is that what you call it? Or web? What do you call it? RESTful API? What is the term for these things? RESTful. 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 The fastest way to do it is actually just to do a web request to a, 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 a SES. And that's really sad because their, their server is in bloody Oregon. But anyway. Um, it's the fastest way I've found how to, to send lots of email through, the, uh, through, the, through uh, a web request. But that's actually pretty cool, because we're, we're doing web applications. And SMTP is just probably something that we could live without. Um, so yeah, doing it by web request is quite cool. And I'm using an app, uh, uh, a library called uh, PHP AWS SES. Never mind that. And then uh, this is, oh, you can't really see the bottom of my slide. But this is, why is this so small? <coughs> and you'd be wondering how I get asynchronous um, uh, in my app nowadays. And this is how I do it. I make the email call actually in the browser. I don't do it in the back end. You're probably thinking, this guy's an idiot. But no, it actually works really well, unless the, uh, br the uh, browser, what do you call it, a surfer? Is that what you call a client nowadays? I'm, da I'm not down with the lingo. A user, uh, it, I mean, the trouble is that even though this is like 1.5 seconds, what can happen is that the, brow uh, the, the, the surfer, there's got to be a better name for this. The surfer can just close the browser or navigate away, and of course, the, the, the email won't get sent. Or it can be interrupted, maybe. Um, so that, that's how I do asynchronous stuff. Isn't that super duper lame just to do it in the browser? Yeah, but you just open multiple browser, browser <laughs> things and bam, 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 bam. No, no, well, I'm not, I'm not spamming people. I'm just getting, I'm getting my, the surfers, the clients, to just let me know what they're up to by sending me email. So that's how I'm doing it right now. I'm, using, I'm not using SMTP. I'm not using any crazy language features. I'm using curl. And I'm using the browser to send email. Oh, my gosh. Um, and then I, and then I, yeah. The next thing I wanted to bemoan is just setting up AWS uh, SES. Is I don't know who's done that before. Who set up AWS SES? Did you feel like your life was pretty losing time over it? I, I, I thought I was, because verifying emails, verifying domains, getting it all set up, it's quite a pain. I found. Um, so yeah, so anyway, and then and then and then ultimately you're kind of left with the same boring questions like, like, uh, uh, I mean, if you use AWS ES, do you actually monitor the bounces? Do you mon monitor the deliverability and all the rest of it? The, the statistics that come back. Supposedly. That means no. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so. <laughs> Is actually, yeah, I mean, you, you can see all these statistics, but they're, they're so boring that you just almost like don't want to even look at them. Uh, so yeah, I have a problem now still. I mean, the, I think the emails are getting through, but I'm actually not even doing all the checks to make sure that's even happening. And I was actually curious to know how people solve that. I think Send, SendGrid have a very sexy user interface that makes you want to log in and check their stats, but I've never used it. But I know Amazon SES doesn't. Every, every, I don't want to log into AWS console because uh, it's really boring and slow. It feels like swimming in molasses or something. 
So yeah, that's that's my talk. It's just gave you problem after problem and how I didn't solve it. Yep. Well done. Have you tried using Oh, for Christ's sake. This is, this is like the beanstalk argument. <laughs> okay, let me, yeah, 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 go on. RabbitMQ plus. plus the PHP mill function. Because PHP itself, there's a, there's a implementation, there's a library for you to do interaction with RabbitMQ as well. Well, it's just a queue, like, I guess, beanstalkers, even though I don't even know what beanstalk is. I'm imagining a big beanstalk with green beans and it's long and it's probably like a queue because didn't the giant come down after him uh, so he didn't did, did the giant come down before him no it's a queue that's what I'm thinking a rabbit MQ I'm thinking rabbits I have no idea what MQ stands for male Q it's just, it's just a so it's just another queue but I don't I don't want to use a queue I don't want to use a queue I think that's a bit lame if you look at GMN do you know what GMN is? Is that the thing that gives browsers extra powers? Is that ma a guy who sells drugs? <laughs> GMN lets you set up like a, a client server kind of relationship. You have, you have, you have, uh, work, you have workers, so you have, uh, and you have like, a distributor which kind of takes in requests and push it out to different GMN instances. Sounds complicated. Uh, yeah, yeah. You, you don't like frameworks, you don't like... Arena, no, I, I, li I like things being simple. I just yeah. want to send like, I just want to call a mail function and, and it to be fast. But to be honest, I think, I've, you know what, I, I'm not actually that b bothered about how slow it is now because I do it in the browser. And, and my real problem is just the monitoring, all that stuff. I don't know how to actually check that everything's really actually <laughs> awesome. With your last question, we moved off SES. Um, what? I know. We, Too cheap? Um, no, none of our emails were getting accepted by Hotmail. What? Who cares so about like, Hotmail? They're all else, old people. Everyone else is fine for Hotmail. <laughs> Most of our clients are old people. Like, what, are you, what are you building? <laughs> like pensioners? <laughs> pensioners <laughs> <laughs> to parents. What? To parents with like teenage kids. Um, well, those are old people. So they're, they're old people. Have you got seen this kids? No. <laughs> <laughs> um, Shit. So yeah, so like n none of our emails went to Hotmail and we had no visibility of this at all. And then so even once we, re we realized that that was happening. Well, did, didn't, didn't we Am 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 Amazon happen. usually send like statistics like uh, if it got how many deliveries, how, how many bounces, how, mm -hmm. how, if it got accepted? Okay. So to go back to your first point, <laughs> like how do you monitor this stuff? Well, you can monitor it, but I mean, but no the trouble is that you get the stats, but no one looks at them. Yeah. Exactly. So now you get like a report from your customer.io saying, oh, Mr. Person at Hotmail didn't get your email or something. Um, no, we've had fewer people calling up complaining saying they haven't received email. Well, that's not the greatest monitoring technique I've ever heard of. <laughs> no, it's like no one's complained. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Dan, that's, has anyone got a crazy email story? Because that one was pretty crazy. <laughs> What are you using? Is it customer.io? Did I get yeah, that right? Customer.io. Um, so you basically you send off a API request um, saying that a user has clicked on the button or done something, mm. and then you set up all the emails on, on there, and, and they fire off based on the events you send them. So all of like and these um, these messages are forked off. Um, so it takes like 0 0.01 seconds to do anything. Yeah. Um, and then they do all the monitoring. Okay. So, yeah. Um, oh, I, I do see the value of third parties. So I was. Re I'm actually. If anything, I'm here to say. Who has the best third party solution here? Use we'll use one. Well, what What about you guy? Uh, you the the swagger guy. Um, what do you use? I basically use <coughs> mail gun. So all, all I can say is the mail does get delivered into the inbox and not the trash, and that's. And that's all you care about. Yeah, I mean that's as much as you can hope for, right? And is there, is there some nice stats to, to show your boss or something? No. Basically, they just want to guarantee that, that, that it gets there. They guarantee that? Uh, well, for the most part, after we test between various mail providers, it does go into You really do test, or you just like, not really? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. 
I think that's my talk, guys. Um, yeah. Thank you, guys. Uh, any questions? Let me know. Oh yeah, here, here's all my details. I'm actually, I actually, my wife told me to say this. I'm looking for work. No, because, because <laughs> my my uh, I need to get my income up. So if anyone needs a PHP person who doesn't really know what he's doing. Actually, I know my way around PHP, kind of. Just I just don't use object oriented PHP. Who uses object oriented PHP? Who's that PHP seven guy? It's you, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, I do web applications and I do other stuff too, that kind of stuff. So yeah, thanks guys for ruining my evening.